1029-2018, Julie, from the Heart of Feather Heart Temple YouTube site. I'm just getting over the flu. And no, I did not get my flu shot. I don't condone it. Um, and for those of you who do get the flu shot, you're just carriers. <laughs> That's how we all get sick. We have people who are become the carriers for the flu shot because they went they went for the flu because they went and got their flu shot. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. I wanted to talk about <coughs> the caravan of people that are headed towards well, there's two of them now that are headed towards the United States. I saw in one picture that they were pr dressed pretty well. One of them had a Tommy Hilfiger shirt on, and then my first thought was. Oh, so we have uh, guys in designer shirts coming to America, making demands on us before they even get here. This, this, is, this, go this goes on in our own country. You see, we have two problems here. We have the people who support those people who they want in this country. And they're making demands on the good, loving, kind American people alongside the people who are outside of our country who are marching here to make demands on us <clears throat> as well. So, let me ask you something. Uh, has, have any of you yet to see one of them who ha are already in the United States illegally <clears throat> has any of them come forward and said how thankful and humble they are that the American people have saw fit to make sure they had their physical needs met for free? Not one of them has come forward to say thank you, American people, for the support. Because, you see, free to someone else is plunder to someone else. Because free is not free. Someone has to pay for that freebie. And the people who are paying for it are probably getting sick of it. And very angry. Because now they are, well, they're making more demands on us. And more people are coming to make more demands. It reminds me of a spoiled child. And the reason a, the spoiled child makes demands on the parents is because they've never had to face any repercussions for their actions. And that's what's wrong. Well, part of what's wrong. These people will think they have no repercussions for their actions when they're actually being used by the globalists I don't care if you call if you say Soros is doing this or Obama's behind all this the truth is the American people have been sold out you have everyone else everybody on that hill to be angry at because every one of them is complacent. I have yet to see one of them come forward and say, we need to put a stop to this. Here's another thing that is going on in our country. We have enough of our American people who are plundering and stealing everything they can get their hands on and they're our own. We have enough of it here already. Well, because the law made it okay doesn't mean that it's okay. You see, when you get something that you didn't earn, you have to steal it from someone else who did earn it. So you're in essence robbing other people of their earned abundance. What do you think that does on other levels? No one ever thinks about that. Well, there are people who do think about that. People like me, who think about what that's doing on other levels. But we won't get into that in this video. I'm not going to even get in, get in that deep. But I want to ask you, 
do you want these kind of people in your country that are marching here to make demands on you with no humility but violence in their eyes? Are these the kind of people you want? How about your front door? Do you leave it wide open? No, your front door to your home is always locked. Well, now, it didn't used to be like that. You could keep it unlocked and be okay. But now you have to keep your door locked. And you only open it to people who, you, who are worthy of trust. Someone who is spiritually mature. Someone who has the wiring for seeing reality would not do something like this. And the problems we face in this country is that we have our own to worry about. Because they're the biggest enemy we've got. They have no wiring for reality. And you're not going to open up their brain and hook those wires together. They're not there. And for everybody who loves Trump, I'm going to say it. We don't need Trump. And I don't mean to offend anybody that loves Trump. We don't need him. We can do this ourselves by saying a very loud no to the globalists. Every one of them. And their monsters that they're using to destroy this country right under our feet. I have no violence or anger or malice in me towards the good, loving, kind people who give. But I have righteous anger towards those who are perpetuating this nonsense, this mess. These people who are marching toward our country are being used to traumatize the beautiful, loving, charitable people on this, in this country. And it has to stop. But it has to stop from inside out. Because it's all funny to me what's happening outside of us. It's a pretty good reflection of what's going on within a lot of people. And we've got to start telling them no. The people of conscience, the people who have wiring for reality, the people who really see what's going on. You have to get off the fence and start talking. Even if it's just talking like I'm doing. I'm not a racist. Oh, I'm very aware that Every race on this planet is enslaved to something. And I always say this, I don't think they're human. I think they hate humans. And they've been pitting us against one another for decades. Centuries, and you name it. In any continuum. And when they want to destroy a nation, this is how they do it. It's a pattern. Study history. And this is another thing that they say. Those who don't know history are doomed to repeat it. But I say, what if they teach you the lie? They are, in essence, dooming a collective of people to repeat history. Where are you going to find true history? You're not going to find it in our history books. You have to look in your own bloodline, your own awakening, your own evolvement. Don't rely on the historians to tell you the truth. Because it is the lie that is dooming us all. Have a beautiful day, beautiful people. And thank you.